Hey guys, welcome back to Models and Beer. Um, real quick video, um, got the cranes completed, and well they've been completed for a few days now, it just took me a while to get this video edited and put together. Um, not really a whole lot to show on these cranes, they were a basic build, um, A goes into B, and um, I think each crane might have had seven or eight parts per crane, not counting the, the photo etch. Um, photo etch really added a lot to this, the Edwards photo etch, um, with all the railings and the ladders and stuff, and you'll see that here in this video. But yeah, it's a quick video. Um, like I said, not a whole lot to show you. I didn't do any build on this video. I just kind of took it step for step um, and then showed the end results at the end. So um, let's get right into it, guys. Okay, guys, let's get right into it. Not a whole lot to go over here. Um, the cranes are really a simple build. Um, not a whole lot to them. Three sprues um, contain all the parts for these cranes. Sprue G, H, and F. Um, sprues are needed to complete this. And there is some kit provided PE that can be used unless you got the Edwards like I have. And then you're, we're going to omit the kit provided PE. Um, basically pretty simple. You take G, 10, G, 16, those are going together. Um, I didn't film any of this only because it's so simple. A goes into B type stuff. Um, so I'm just going to run through it really quick here and then we'll show you what we got done. Um, G, 10, G, 16, the ladders that are printed onto part G10. We're going to sand those off because we have ladders from the Edwards that we're going to be replacing that with. Um, this part here consists of three parts, G5, G6, and G52. Those three go together, which makes this part here, which sits on top of this part here, which we made back here. So simple. Um, photo etch parts here for the crane, or the, whatever you want to call those, the parts of the crane, the wheels, the, um, <laughs> I'm a loss for words, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, uh, those all get put together, and here again, the arms of the crane, H24, G17, go together, the pulleys, pulleys, that's what I'm looking for, the pulleys go in between, um, G17, G9. And then we got these H32 spots, these little tiny things here, those go in. And then our crane sits in on top of that. So for we have the photo etch. Let me bring that sheet in here. It'll be kind of easier to show. So we're going to be removing the plastic from here because we're going to be replacing and it shows us to remove it here. This is the photo etch instructions. Um, we're removing that because we have photo etch pieces to replace that. And same here. This is where the this piece that we just cut off, we're replacing it with, this one get in here, piece 27, which gets a simple bend. Um, pulley 30 goes into 27, basic. And then we got three of these plates. That's a terrible lighting situation I got going on here. Um, these three plates simply go onto the sides of this arm on the crane on both sides. Um, it just gets repeated, same thing. Photo etch from the Edwards. We have a railing here that we're putting onto this piece here which if you remember right, is right here. So we're going to be putting that railing around there. Um, here is our railing that goes onto this arm here. Um, Trumpeter does include railing, um, kit provided photo etch for railing for this. But again, the Edwards is a little bit more superior, so we're going with that. Um, it's a simple bend. You're basically bending up these two railings and a, a bend in the middle here and then that, that all gets affixed to this arm here. So yeah, pretty basic. And the only thing left that we have is this piece here, 21, 
which is a plate that goes on the underside of this here. And that's pretty much it. So, um, we got our railing that goes on. Then we have our ladders. We got a ladder here. We got a ladder here on the side. And then one coming up the back side here. Um, ladder placement is you need to be careful and I will show you why here in a few minutes when we go to install this onto the ship. So basically that's what we did. Um, let me go ahead and get the cranes over here and we'll get them in the view and we'll show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay. Um, I got the cranes are already primed and ready for paint. They are just in a basic gray, gray primer. Um, you can see our pulley systems here, our railing. Um, once again, this is Edwards photo etch railings. And we have a stand here, which is Edwards. Um, partially the bottom, the base of this is kit provided you and you snip off the top here and you replace it with this photo etch piece here I don't know if you can, there we go and we have our ladders in place and our railing around this uh, piece here I'm not sure what that would be called and another set of ladders here and then one more going down here and that pretty much completes the the cranes. Um, I did get ahead of myself a little bit. I put a string on here, um, which you can see here, and that was on purpose, but I should have waited before I primed and painted that before I put that on there. <laughs> so it's there now on both cranes. So I am going to have to paint that back black again after we get the blue sprayed onto here. And like I said, both of these cranes are identical other than the ladder placement. Um, let me see if we can get that in. You can kind of make it out there. They are opposite of each other. But yeah, it came out really nice. Um, I'm pleased with it. Um, for as simple as the assembly was, or the, you know, yeah, assembly and completing these cranes it has some really really nice detail to it um, thanks to the Edwards kit but once again like I said it does provide um, these railings here in the kit not this round here whoops it does not supply this railing here nor does it supply any of these ladders so the only kit provided PE you're getting is this basically this railing right up along the top here so that's where we're at now, guys. Um, only thing left to do is to shoot this in a blue. And I got to paint this string back black. I'm going to run a second line from here to this little pulley here. Whoops, where is it? At? Here we go. To this pulley that would operate this, this um, pulley assembly here. So I'm going to wait till after I paint that the rest of the crane and then I will put the other string in and then I'll show you the completed cranes and let's go ahead and we'll get them set into the ship into their home and we'll see what that looks like so we shall be right back guys
Um, I think next I'm going to move on to the catapult on uh, turret number three. And it looks like another pretty basic um, build. So it's probably going to be similar to this one, this video here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start on that possibly tonight. I don't think it's going to take me more than a day or two to do that. We are um, coming almost to a completion on this Arizona, guys. Almost a, a year in the making. Um, I think within another month, maybe two months, I'll, I should have this thing wrapped up. The only thing we got left to do is I have the anchors and chains yet to do. I have the front tower left to do, which I'm kind of dreading um, after doing the aft tower. And we have the planes that we have to build, and we have the back crane to do, and then of course the catapult on um, turret three. And then I we have the railings that are going to go on the ship itself, the you know the railings around the deck and things like that to do, and then that's going to pretty much wrap it up. And we'll see where we go from there. Um, I have a bunch of kits that I've been stashing here smaller stuff i think after i get done with this arizona and i might even take a break again from the arizona and, and do another kit just to fun things up a little bit but we'll see where we go from there guys thank you for watching i appreciate all you guys um and i will see you on my next video have a great week guys Bye -bye.